Welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials, Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. Today I will be retouching this photograph from this to this. Okay guys, welcome back. As I said, I will be retouching this photograph today using Luminar Neo Artificial Intelligence. And before sharing the steps I will be using, let's check the catalog so we can see the gear and the settings. So the photographer here used a Canon 5D Mark III, great camera with a 24105 EF F4 lens, great lens. And the settings on the camera were ISO 100, uh, aperture 7.1, and the shooter speed 1 1 25th of a second. I see here uh, in the catch lights, maybe this was a beauty dish with a reflector below to bounce light. So now I will be accomplishing this uh, result using uh, mainly artificial intelligence, skin AI, some face uh, AI as well to enhance some areas of the, of the portrait. And then I will finish it with a uh, Dutch and burning and correcting uh, the exposure with the develop mode and at the end and in a vignette so without further ado let's get straight to the point i will do the typical workflow i use for skin retouching enhancing face lighting dutch and burning to accomplish the result uh, you saw in the beginning let's check this photo there are shines in there you see around her forehead nose some blemishes that are showing in here and this is just because the light is really harsh direct light and that light has a tendency to expose more the uh, imperfections but don't worry we can fix it uh, first module or first tool I will use is the develop over here I will switch to camera neutral I now want to use the white balance to flash and the optics automatic correction of the lens i will do some enhancement as always you was, might be thinking why jose you have light everywhere why enhancing this tool does really good things right so i always use it in my portraits so you see it's enhancing more the hair and then i will always go back to the develop module and reduce the opacity a bit like around there okay so so far this is what we have done from here to here i will do the skin okay guys before moving to skin retouching i will erase some of the blemishes using the erase tool in here uh, i will reduce the size to 10 and i would want to take care of these areas that are more prominent you know and uh, also this tiny hair strays she has in here like this okay good this one is fine this one here this one here you know the skin retouching uh, the tool we have here for skin I mean we take care of most of this but I always like to help uh, by removing with the erase tool the ones are kind of popping to me right it's just a uh, the thing I like to do right before using artificial intelligence at its full okay all right so I think it's fine there this one here this one here this other one here here and there you know there are certain things that I want to first try to erase if I can with the erase tool good now let's move to the skin tool i will apply a hundred percent right out of the bat hundred percent see yes okay and i will do skin defects removal and shine removal to a hundred percent as well okay so we have just by using the skin AI so far I like it let me now do the face I want to enhance the eyes dark circle removal 
slim the face a little bit more like that face light i don't think i need face light <laughs> face light is fine if i do this it will be crazy right so i think it's okay there if i need maybe a touch you know what there fine good okay now i will do the typical dutch and burning i typically use i will put the amount in this case i will use 40. Uh, the strength at six now is eight is fine for light no it's not 15 is eight the size of the brush and i will do the typical t area and the shake bones that i like to do i will increase the size and i want to i like this a little bit more okay I'm not against that shine in there. I think that's natural. That's her skin. And you want to keep that. At least if the photo, war, photo was taken by me, I will keep it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there. Good. I will darken now. With more strength. I will darken the eyebrows. The borders here of the eyelids i will lighten again with the strength of 10. i will reduce the size maybe not that much like that and i will apply that lighten dutch and burn to these areas of the eyes if you can see i think this is a beauty edition the reflector below her okay there you go Mm -hmm. good okay you can always also dodge these highlights of the hair why not do it like this see mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're darkened. Bigger size. In the dark areas. Like that. You see how with just a few adjustments of Dutch burning, you are creating more depth in here. Let's see, look at the hair. See? more depth that's good and you can always apply this the amount you want to uh, you just need to practice and train your eye and by the way if you want to download this photograph you can head over to my website i will leave the link in the description so from there i will give you the instructions how you can get it for practicing it's total totally free uh, for you to use for practicing you just please do not claim the photograph as yours. This is not my photograph. I'm just using it to uh, show my edit workflow to you guys. All right. Okay. So I think I will leave it the way it is. If I were to do something here, maybe it's to reduce the exposure a little bit more like that and add a vignette if it's needed. And then you have this beautiful portrait, all right? We move, uh, we move from here to here. So there you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all.